Hey everyone, it's December. That means our lives are crazy. We've overscheduled, overeaten, and overspent. But I'd like to take a few moments before the official Christmas holiday is here and reflect on some of the special moments we've had. So, as you may know, my husband Sebastian is from Latin America and I am from the U.S., from Utah. Um, so as we've grown together as a family, we've kind of had to form our own traditions. Over the last few years, one of our favorite things has been to go to see some Christmas lights. It is amazing. We have music playing, they have smells, they have just amazing lights. What'd you get? Nice. One of our favorite spots, or my favorite spots, is they have a special garden. And in this garden, they have um, statues of Jesus Christ and of his life. And during the Christmas season, they don't put up your standard Christmas lights, but they put just dozens and dozens, if not hundreds, of these lanterns. Sorry. And I love every year walking through that garden and seeing these um, sculptures that are beautifully done with my family. This year was really special because, you know, normally it's the kids just want to see the lights and the and get the hot chocolate, but it was really special because as we were there, my little girl Penny just loved seeing these statues. She wanted to go to each one and just look Jesus Christ right in the face. And it was such a special moment for me to giving our get, helping teach our children even a little bit about the reason for the season and why we are all here. Hope it can help my children to see and to feel why we celebrate Christmas. Another thing that's uh, become really important to my family together is to help teach our daughters to always give and to always think of others. Um, so we had some money and the job of this money was that we were supposed to go and share with someone else, do something for someone else, use it for a good purpose. So as we thought about what to do with our girls, we thought, well, they're still really young, so they would enjoy going to uh, one of these giving machines. Where are we going to go after Mommy and Daddy Jim? I got the giving machine. The giving machine. What do we do at a giving machine? I'm so, I'm yeah. So at the giving machine, we're going to pick out different presents we can give to other people. And then after... We already got presents. Yeah, so these will be for other people who need things. Some people don't have nice homes and nice clothes like you do. Did you know that? Well, we have nice clothes. I know, so it's important for us to share with other people, right? We ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here comes Daddy. Oh, yeah. 
What did you just get, Millie? School kit. A school okay. kit? Penny. Okay, press number two. Oh, nice. Where are your tickets? Where are you? Okay. The school kit's gonna fall. There it goes. You got the chickens are gonna fall. Oh my goodness. We got to help our girls pick out whatever they wanted to give and afterwards we went and got lunch in the food court and did a little Christmas shopping. What you doing, Pin? For myself, I don't remember many Christmas gifts I ever got as a kid, but I remember going to my grandma's house on Christmas Eve, and I remember reading the Christmas story out of the Bible, and I remember having Christmas breakfast and the excitement, and I remember all these traditions that we had, and those are the things that we can pass on and help create those relationships with our family and bring us closer together. Um, and share with me what you've done or what the Christmas season means to you. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you next time on Life of Duran.